Hey, what's up, hood folks? This is Jeremy. So, how y'all doing today? All right, so I know I didn't do a video yesterday. I was just tired and not in the mood. So, I want to do this squash casserole because people be like, oh, your fat ass don't do nothing but eat bad food. You don't cook nothing healthy. Healthy on these nuts. They are full of protein for your mouth. Boop, boop, boop. Anyway, so, <laughs> y'all, look what they selling already. Eggnog. Now, if you know anything about me, my favorite time of the year is Christmas time, and they be selling eggnog. And it's October, and it's hot as fuck outside, and they... <laughs> so fucking good. <laughs> anyway, so what I'm finna do today is I'm finna do a squash casserole. I put this on my Facebook one time, and I got stuff on my face, on my mouth. Don't y'all get no idea. <laughs> That ain't what you think on my mouth. <laughs> That's eggnog. I walk with Jesus. I don't put all that stuff around my mouth. I walk with Jesus. <laughs> but seriously though, I'm finna do a squash casserole. I put it on my Facebook a while ago. And everybody like, damn, that look good. How you make it? It's real simple. I can find name on YouTube. So I said, well, shit, let me put a squash casserole on YouTube. All right, so we're going to start off. I got, come over here, cameraman. Let me show him something. I got to make sure my knife sharp. This is how you sharpen the knife. Look at that shit right there. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm a motherfucking chef. All right, you want to do it about 12 times. So I'm, a, I'm, only start, I'm only gonna do four squash, fresh squash, because I didn't want the ones in the bag. Let me tell y'all how I wash my fruit off and vegetables off. Cause you know you go to the store, motherfuckers be digging all in they stinking ass, and then go put their hands all over, testing and stuff. So I get me some regular old vinegar, but this shit's stronger hell. And so I just spray them all like this. And it's gonna kill all the germs, get all the boogers and snot, and gonorrhea and crap. And all asbestos get out. <laughs> it's gonna get all that shit off of the food. And then I'm just gonna rinse it off. Hey baby. No. <laughs> Alright, so just rinse it out like that, and that's all. And it's clean as fuck. Alright, so come over here, man. All right, so I'm going to chop it up like this. Chop that part off. Chop that part off. I don't need them pieces. And I'm going to cut it kind of thick. Because I want my squash casserole to be... Ooh, that damn not ready for work. Look at that. Damn. Chopping on that bitch. Chop, 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 chop. I'm going to cut my finger off because I got my glasses. I'm trying to look cute. All right, so I'm just going to throw them on in the hot ball and water. All right, I'm gonna chop the rest of these up. Let my squash go for about seven minutes. I don't want them to get all the way done. Because I'm going to also bake these and I don't want them to be mushy and looking like damn mashed potatoes. Alright, only thing you want to add to your squash right now is just a little salt and a little pepper. That's just for the season the squash. Because you're going to add your other season when you make the casserole. Alright, so I'm going to let that go for about 7 minutes. So you're going to need an uh, onion. I'm gonna do a half an onion because this is a big ass onion. What's wrong with the onion? What the fuck is that? Damn. Cut all the bad shit out. Well, I might need a whole onion now since I cut all this part off. Fuck, I'll get that up. Really, you need a, a half onion, but since I'm cutting off all this bad part, 
It's supposed to be a new onion. Okay, and I'm gonna dice this whole up like this. Y'all remember my french fry maker? I'm gonna make some french fries one day for y'all motherfuckers. <laughs> And then you get that hole and hop it down on. Boom! And this French fry maker will do good. One, look at that. See? Dice onions for my goddamn stuff. Alright, good folks. My squash been boiling for seven minutes. So I'm gonna take it right out of the pot and put it over here. Now if you just gonna eat this plain squash, this actually is done now. And I saw um I went to Boston Market one time and I got some squash casserole. It was good, but it just didn't have that. You know, it just didn't have that mama, daddy, grandmama, granddaddy flavor to it. I said, most were made by a little fat white woman. <laughs> so, you getting that? The squash smell good, too. And it don't matter if you don't uh, drain it all your water. It's gonna the water will help it get stay kind of wet and moist. <laughs> but you don't want that uh you don't want that squash casserole to be all dry like some new paper towel. <laughs> uh, you want it to be real <laughs> moist. All right, that's about it, right? Get your hard belly ass back, man. I can't see the ball. All right, so that's how I look when it's finished. Oh, let me get another spoon, because this spoon with him just the flimsy is Donald Trump with his punk ass. Hold on, they on my squad. That's what I need. Let me give me these big ass lunchroom spoons. <laughs> All right, come back over here. All right, to the squash, you want to add one onion. Well, this is probably a little bit more than one onion. I like a lot of onion, but you want to just add one onion to this, if you're making this amount. All right, you want to add one can of cream of chicken. Hey, open that mouth up. Let me pull it out. <laughs> All right, and I want to add a little paprika. Now, I ain't measuring out no goddamn saw. Uh, measuring out. So I'm putting a little bit of paprika. A little bit of garlic powder. A seasoned salt. A little more salt, just a little bit more. You don't need too much salt because how long? And pepper. A little bit of pepper. But like I said, you don't need too much salt because I'm going to put cheese in it. Stay right there. Alright. Normally I would have used casserole cheese, but all my casserole cheese gone. So, I'm still going to use my mild cheddar because mild cheddar cheese melts. So you put your cheese in, however much cheese you want. You stir it up. That sound creamy. I'm about to get get on hard. Look at the sound of that there. Look at that. Oh shit. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> Damn. Alright, hold up one second. Shit. Alright, I'm going to taste it a little bit to make sure it ain't too salty or do it need any more salt. Damn, that's just right. Now I'm going to put a little bit of milk in here. 
You know what milk gonna do is make it a little bit more creamier. Alright, now the last ingredient. <clears throat> Need a couple of crackers. Crackers just help me stiffen up. Most people put their crackers on top, but I like to mix my crackers inside of it. Let me taste it one more time. Make sure it's softer. Damn, it's a long video. Damn! Damn, that's good. Hold back. Stay right there. Alright. Let's take my little dish pan. Spray that motherfucker like you need to do your ass at night. Cone up the cone. You know how some of y'all be basing on hand bay? Uh-uh. You need to get up in them corners. Because the corner is where the shit behind it. <laughs> Alright. Just pour it in here. Damn, that's a lot. All right, and on the top, I'm gonna put just a little bit more cheese. Just a little bit more. <clears throat> All right, and Fall paper, spray this part. I'm gonna put it in the oven for 30 minutes. Just to let the cheese and shit melt and get a little crust. Alright? Alright, hood folks, you see it's bubbling. That cheese is bubbling. That cheese bubbling. Get back some. I had to put it on this pan because it started leaking. <laughs> It got too wet for me. <laughs> it started leaking. So what I'm going to do now is I need to let it sit up for about five or six minutes to settle and cool off because you don't want to cut it until now it's going to be real watery. So I got to let it settle and cool and then we be ready to eat some motherfucking squash casserole. Huh? All right, here folks. So this has been sitting for about 10 minutes. I had to let it settle and cool down a little bit. You know, you can't take stuff right out of the oven and try to eat it. You'll burn your asshole off. And it's kind of loose because I like my squash to be kind of loose. And so I'm going to, let's serve it up. Woo! It's real creamy. Look, y'all, I stole a bowl from Cheddar's. <laughs> the day is Christopher Columbus Day, so you can steal it. <laughs> Thanks, Christopher Columbus. <laughs> I found me a bowl in this mines. I discovered this motherfucker. <laughs> All right, come over here. Now, I was finna go get me some chicken to go with this, but I just want to make this video for y'all real fast. You see it? Now let's give me a good taste of it. Damn, that look good. This can be a, health, a healthier alternative if you don't eat macaroni and cheese that much like me. This shit hot. Look at that steam. All right. <laughs> Fuck the hot. <laughs> God damn it hot. It's good. It's good. Come on down again. <laughs> damn that burnt the shit up my goddamn mouth. Let me do it longer this time. Shit. Mm. It's good. You can taste the cheese. You can taste the onion. The cream of chicken bring it all together. This is a banging ass. Squash, casserole, hood folk. I hope y'all enjoy. Look, you didn't tell me I had my glasses on. I hope you're looking cute. Anyway, <laughs> this is a good ass squash casserole. I'm finna go on up to Popeye and give me a 10 piece. And I'm finna make me a little plate. But I ain't got the 10 piece yet because I had to make my squash first, you know? Because they got the 10 piece for $10. No side, just chicken. And there go my side right here. All right, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, hood folks. And I'll see y'all next time. <laughs> This shit, this shit good. I like to eat a little healthy. Hey.